North Carolina gun owners will soon be able to carry firearms at bars and playgrounds. On Tuesday, North Carolina lawmakers approved a bill allowing gun owners with concealed carry permits to bring their weapons to playgrounds, bars, and public recreation areas, while bar owners will still be permitted to deny entry to armed patrons. Governor Pat McCrory is expected to sign the expansive bill into law soon. The measure will also allow concealed carry permit holders to keep guns in their cars parked on school campuses. The bill was stripped of extremely, extremely excessive provision that would have eliminated the requirement for background checks or handgun permits. Richard Fowler, your thoughts. Guns in bars, guns in schools, guns on playgrounds. We've talked about this too. I don't know. I mean, I don't even know where to start. This is just, like I said, regressive policies. Listen, I think everybody believes in the right to bear arms. It's part of our constitution, but it's, there has to be some limits to this right to bear arms. And I think having a gun on a playground should be a limit. Like, do we not learn anything from Newtown? Have we not learned anything from Aurora? Have we not learned anything from Tucson? Have we not learned anything from Tra- the Trayvon Martin trial or the George Zimmerman trial, Trayvon Martin's death? Have we not learned anything? America? How about the DC sniper? How about Columbine? How about Virginia Tech? Yeah, Richard. I mean, where? How I read this, this in the in the Republican playbook, is, you know, we're they're not happy with the way that the media latched on to the gun control debate. So they they said, okay, you know, this is making us uncomfortable. We feel like our rights are being taken away. Let's let's go directly after the source and let's tackle this. You know, let's let's make some legislation that's going to allow guns on the school parking lot, on campus, on the playground, in the places where, you know, specifically it's been proven that, you know, you're going to reduce violent crime if you keep handguns out of bars, if you keep handguns away from children. I mean, these are statistics that are pretty much irrefutable. I guess, I mean, the only thing you really can say is that they're maniacal for wanting kids to die or wanting drunk people to have guns. And I think we see over and over again, and I don't recall the statistic off the top of my head, but the amount of people who are, you know, charged with a crime, a a gun-related, a firearm-related offense while they are intoxicated is significantly, significantly higher than those who are not. I believe that. I believe that. I got to tell you, I think... And I know folks are going to disagree with me here. There's all those gun rights, those pro-gun folks who are going to disagree. But I, I ask you, do you think if your if you were not, and this is the question you have to ask yourself, if your kid was not, if you were not there as your kid was playing on the playground and somebody else had a Katushka rocket or a bazooka or an AK-47 just hanging out on the playground, would you make with that? And you didn't know this person. Would your kid feel? Would you feel safe? Would you feel safe that your child is in that situation? That's, I think the people that signed this bill into law would probably say that yeah, that does make them safer. Even if they, if you, if you, you don't know this person. Well, that's the whole hypocrisy, right? And there. And you're not there. That's and a lot of times, and you know, you're at your playground. They might, you can might be in school. They might take a field trip to the playground. Him might be hanging out with his friends. You know, the eight year olds, nine year olds who just hang out on the street, go to the community playground, and there's a guy with AK forty seven there. Does that well, make you safe? I think that's the hypocrisy right there, Richard. These same people, in a hypothetical situation, are willing to say that. Well, I'd feel so much safer if, if I someone, had a if, gun. no, if someone you know had a gun. If you know, when we saw this, when people were bringing the concealed carries into a restaurant in Virginia. People all, all said, you know, I never felt safer being surrounded by all these people with guns. But the bottom line is these same people, if let's say it was an African-American person with a concealed carry handgun in their North Carolina park, I think they would think twice about this. Yeah, you might be right. Because they, it's all about, I mean, this is everything with social stigma and, you know, unconscious bias. We talked about this before on the show. Um, it, it, I don't know. I, I think this is, it's, it's bizarre. Hey, Fowler Nation. Thanks to you, we have made our goal of 1,500 subscribers. You can check out our behind the scenes video in the description below this video. But now we need our next goal. We need to get to 2,000 subscribers and we can't do it without your help. So do me a favor, click that subscribe button. And when we get to 2,000 subscribers, we're gonna release a very special video with the Fowler Nation mascot, Larry the Cat.